Well, hello friends, how's it going? It's your friend Jeff playing Ultimate Admiral, Age of Sail, American Campaign, Normal, Land and Sea with Adaptation means the enemy is going to scale with me. Now, as you can see, I have a demodifier here of minus 25% funding. I have a good modifier that's, you know, I can buy recruits for less than 25%, so that's kind of cool, but that, this D modifier is not nice. Um, you can see that I'm losing $23,649 per turn. My funding is down 25%, so I only get 9528 And, um... Yeah, that's about what it is. So it looks like, um, you can see my ships here. I only have one, two, three, four, five ships. Four warships and one merchant ship. You can see that, you know, I've lowered the weight on the guns so I can put more men on and I have a couple of upgrades right here. Now here, I went over here and I bought a couple of technologies here, which, you know, cost quite a bit. I sold off the 32-pounder Armstrongs and the 24-pounder Armstrongs, so I was able to um, put the second tier on here instead of the first tier. And, you know, upgrade this one to from one tier to the second tier of structure repair. Uh, without doing anything, it costs 20000 and taking off the one tier and then putting the two tier here, it makes it comes it down to 10000 uh to do that. So, I mean, because uh, you get a discount for the one tier um, anyways. And then on transport here, you, if you remember from the other video, I made rookie, rookie, uh, Fuselers. So, um, I've already done this battle, and I made a video, and I was and I was in the process of uploading it, and then I decided I just wanted to do it again. Um, we're gonna go with more foes because we need money. This only gives eleven, and I'm losing, like I said, twenty three thousand. So I mean, it's it's not good. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do this. Uh, we're doing this over. Um, I know how I'm gonna do it. It's just a matter of. I'll explain once I get into the into the battle. I'll explain my 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 strategy. Of what I will do for this one. Um, so, anyways, I think I just go ahead and. Put the ships in. I, as you can see, I don't even have six ships because I can't afford it. I mean, I, I just can't. If I spend that money that I have in my harbor, I'll be 100% broke and I won't make anything from any of these battles. Now, this is a red zone one, so this is going to be kind of tricky. Kind of tricky. All right, we're going to... Okay, I'm going to do that and I'm going to pause, okay? Um... Because this battle is is gonna be tough, and uh, where is my okay over here? All right, so what I want to do here is I just want to anchor, anchor, anchor. So they they should all, because all these are following this ship. So all these ships, I want them to anchor at this very moment. So I guess I could let it be playing while that happens. Uh, and I can just talk about this here. You got to get at least, I think in this one, let's take a look at this. At least one must be fulfilled. You got to capture Imperial or Castro. Eliminate the enemy fleet or do a fleet retreat. Notice how it says 
at least one must be fulfilled. So you can just leave this if you want to, it looks like, but I'm not going to do that, obviously. But that that's the conditions of this one. But um, in the video before, when I did this, and we're probably close to the border, we have to be careful, um, I dropped out the four infantry units on Randy and the enemy ships shot at the lifeboats and killed 150 of my guys and I only got to use three of the four. So I figure if I do this right now before we get near those ships I can get them on my other ships. So that's what I'm you know thinking. So they're only 150 men each and this way I won't lose any of them in a lifeboat. So I'm going to go to my life, my uh, merchant ship and I'm going to tell these guys, and these are just rookies, so you know it's not, they're not great, but it is numbers. I mean I'm looking at the numbers. So let's go ahead and get the, get the game going and it's high speed so you know I put anchors on them all so they should stop once these guys come out I can then direct them like yeah I can put one on that ship I can put one on that ship I should be able to put one on that ship because I lowered the, the calibers and I should put one on that ship alright so we can go a little bit faster and now, oh, now let's see if the look at the path then like he's He's messing around like hopefully they said they fixed path and so hopefully they'll find their things. And once he's on there, I'm going to start him uh, to get going. Uh, Randy can just like sail out of the battle. Even though he has guns, um, 40 guys is nothing. Now we got a thousand here and we're going to get this here to go on here. You can see the enemy's already coming at us. But at least now um I got to anchor these guys. Because they got three 144 gun ships coming out. See, they're shooting to try to kill our lifeboats. This is why I wanted to do it right here. That is why I wanted to do it right there. Okay, he's got it. He's got to get going. Alright, those two are going to stop at some point because these guys have got to catch up. These guys have got to catch up. And we're going to go back to normal speed. Alright. I think I have them all like that. Okay, so now what can I do here? Oh no! Now... Okay, this is really funny at the moment. This is actually funny at the moment. Check this out. They only have one 44 gunship. Now, see, I do this the other day, and I didn't like that they... That they killed m one of my infantry units as soon as I dropped them out. And so therefore, I had, they had three 144 gun ships, well now they don't. So I think, I think this ship... Can take that one out. And then this one has got to get over here. All 
All right, well. Like I said, I, I might be at a slight disadvantage because I, um... Because I stopped all my ships, and as you can see, they're all behind where they would normally be. But again, if I had all my ships together, I dropped the, the fuselers out, and these guys decide to target that instead of my ships, and then I, I lose my infantry unit. So yeah, I don't, like I said, that I definitely got to get this 144 gunship, and I got to get all the ships. And unfortunately, Now, obviously, I'm taking a gamble to see if we can actually take all these guys out. Now, I gotta pause for a minute. Oh, there's my there's my other ship right here, and I think. Oh, hold on. Let me let me decide something at the very moment. I gotta find these guys. So, maybe I should t tell this ship to get over here to try to stop them. Because if I don't, each one of those is worth 40 grand. And if I don't, and, and I'm wasting all my time right here when I should get both of these because that's going to be eighty thousand dollars which i'm hurting in the campaign right now on money so if these guys get into the red zone or the out of bounds you know what i mean like uh, again like i said you know you can see that we already got this so i mean we already got a winning condition if the game doesn't make a mistake but um so the question is, you know, I guess this is going down, this is going down, and this one's going to go down. So I think what I need to do is I probably got to get this ship over here. And I don't know how I'm going to get that. So like I said, so my strategy might not be the smart strategy of doing it with those, that transport. You know what I mean? Like, because I really need a speed ship to get the ones that those, because I'm only doing this so I can sell off them so I can now, because even when I did this before, and I just didn't like, I mean, I got them all, and I didn't like the way it happened. One of those ships made it to the zone, and I only got one, so that's 40 grand. So I did get at least 40 grand. But what I'm trying to mention to you guys, anyone watching this, um, you know, there was three 144 gun ships here. And I, I, I all, all of my ships were after those ships. We didn't care about the other two ships. And I dropped the four fuselers out, and, th and these guys shot at it and killed one, and I only got to use three of them. You know what I mean? Like, the moment these guys jumped out, they shot and killed one. 
so I mean, I just thought to, to I wanted to try just putting those guys on here first, but it put me on a little delay where maybe the smart thing would have been to take the first ship that was over here with the transport and have that ship head to over here so that ship would be responsible for getting the two. So I may have to still redo this anyways. We're going to see, but um, let, let's just play it for now, but I, I might have to redo this already. So let's see. Okay, so Velsh okay now I gotta pause again. He's wavering, so we're gonna get that, but I gotta make sure that this goes down. And I gotta get somebody out of Vashala because he gave up and we didn't get to you know, I mean I hate that when it doesn't let us transfer over. I mean I really I really, that really gets me now. He's wounded, so I'm going to take him out. Killed in action, so I lost a, mid, a midshipman. Who cares? All right, let's see what if he gets out. Okay, he did get out. So now his job is to get over here. Come on. Hurry. Hurry, because I got to get this ship moving. But I don't want it to interfere with Avery. Alright, now get that ship. Now you get going. Get going. Well, it's good that this ship shot that one. Okay, now he gave up. Now can we... And, and see, oh my... Why? 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 Why are you not letting me transfer somebody over? My goodness. Why? All right. Vishala, can you drop out somebody else? I don't care who. Just somebody. Now you over here... Why are so many things going wrong for me? Both of these did not let me transfer somebody over. Man, unbelievable. Look at and this fuseler is stuck right over here. Come on, let's go. Come on. Cause we gotta get that ship. Ay ay yikes. Okay, so now I'm going to have to go over and grab this stupid ship right here now. Because that one's going out of play. And then this ship is stuck to that one. I mean, a lot of things are not working. But we got to get this one over here. To block him and...
Oh yeah, and don't forget, my ship is a transport too, so we're not going as fast as we should. Okay. Alright, good. I got this one over, so... I've got to try to forget... You know, I'm just trying to... What I'm trying to do here is I am just trying to see if I can... I got to get these two. That's 80,000. When I played this before, one got away, and I only got 40,000 for the battle, but I got three 144 gun ships, where now it loaded only one 144 gun ship. But either way, I'm going to tell you that I only added one 144 gun ship to my fleet, so as long as I can get one of these, I'll still be able to do that. I hope I have enough rep to do it. Um, because when you sell off two 144 gun ships, uh, you get a lot of rep. And that definitely allowed me to buy the other 144 gun ship. So I'm sorry I'm yakking and I'm not... Now, I don't know if Rutger could take him out anyways, but he's going to try. And I have this one, you know, heading over to here to block anyways. And then these guys, as far as I'm con cer concerned, can just connect to each other and get out of here. Is all I care. And we got this right here. So I don't know what's more important, but I think at the very moment, we gotta. I gotta get these guys regardless. So if I use Fenwick to take out the littler ship. You know what I mean? Like, this one's already hurt enough. The Phoenix is hurt, so it doesn't really... But I gotta at least get it going here. Um... And like I said, so, I, so I'm trying to see if this strategy that I decide... Okay, and now he's trying to get away. Of course he is. So now I gotta tell him to go this way. I gotta repair. We gotta go this way. We gotta try to get him. And this ship is probably gonna have to end up somewhere over here. Then we'll dump people off and put them on here. Um, we're not gonna worry about this little ship right now. We're gonna let him do whatever he wants to do. Matter of fact, why can't this ship you know shoot at him while we're here and 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 this ship needs to get going that way all right and then this one is supposed to be going with that ship right there okay i just want to make sure he'd shoot at him and how are we looking as far as the interception goes All right, so let's concentrate on which one should I concentrate on? He, he still has to make the turn, and he's trying to get over there. So we'll concentrate on this one right here. We're going to try to go this way, then we're going to cut a little. But we're, yeah, because as long as we're not touching here, we should be able to get speed now, because we're going with the wind, and now we're going to cut in, and we're going to try to... We're going to try to get him. Okay, now what just happened? Oh, the wind changed. Oi. Okay, so now it's going this way. Oh, boy. Well, I think... <sighs> boy, all right, let's get Vishala over here. Let's still try to capture him, even though we got less guys. I'm going to have to just plain stop Rotger. Like, Rotger has to stop. No, Rotka has to stop, not Vashala. Vashala has to keep going. 
and this ship needs to turn in and, an and anchor otherwise we're gonna run into this or or no because see look we're going because the wind changed we're now going against the wind oh my goodness man because I was thinking of coming over here and getting him because we got 1200 doesn't make sense to do 1200 on 350 compared to 630 but I cannot go this way I'm gonna get stopped so the only thing I could try to do is hope matter of fact I should just I should just anchor because maybe I can pull that little ship in by anchoring yeah this is going bad again because of the simple fact of me Okay, good. So I'm actually doing that. So let me grab somebody. Yeah, and you guys would fall out over there. Unbelievable. I'd rather have them fall out over here because he's going to, yeah, he's trying to get ready to blast them. Okay, Pathan is wrong. They're trying to... Oh, well, hey, he just gave up. So I, I just can't believe it. Okay, well, that's fine then. Then just get on that ship right there. And you get on that one. I'll get on this ship right here. Or whatever. Geez. Let's put... Let's put uh, somebody over. Man. All right, now you... Hey, and, oh, oh my goodness, I'm getting all kinds of weird things going on here. Okay, so anchor, anchor, Fenwick, 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 just drop out somebody. We don't care who. Just get over here and get this ship right here, and then that'll, that'll end all that. So now, okay, so, right, I think once he gets that, that's that, right? So we got to get over here. How are we doing right here? Oh my goodness, we are too far away. Oh, yeah, yikes. Yeah, using a transport to try to catch transports is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, if these two guys get away, right? Like, yeah, maybe I can go this way faster. Let's Let's see if we can do that. I'm gonna let that ship I'm gonna let that ship kind of go along with them and be able to shoot at them I'm gonna try to get this ship as close as I can it's a race it's a race how far do we got to go and why did you stop Yeah, 
Yeah, we're trying to, we're trying to, like, like, I'm gonna let him shoot. I don't want to kill those ships. I just need to, I just, and I should probably target it so I could at least hit right there, maybe. All right, pause for just a moment. Um, what I want to do is make sure my main ships are repairing themselves. Because if they're not, you know, I mean, it, 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 you know, because this battle might be over if they get away or I get when I get both of them. So, all right, and I'm going real fast because, you know, I, I, I have no choice. We got to see if this is going to happen. Okay, so hey, all right, we knocked out one mass, so now I want him to shoot at that ship. No, he's going to still shoot at that one, but I want him to shoot at this one. Now, again, on this one, I'm going to target right over there. I don't want him shooting at the other one because the other one... We gotta try to slow him down. Now, if one of them blows up, that ain't gonna be good. All right, come on. All right, let's go to let's go to canister. Okay, the wind changed again. Oh my gosh. Oh, this wind has got to stop. Now, how am I going to do this? Oh boy. My goodness. Just when, um, I mean, I did, sl I did slow this one down. And now look, the wind is now going this way. Oi, oi, oi. And you never usually go into this, but I got no choice. I, I'm going to have to, hopefully I have enough momentum. Yeah, I'm going to be going backwards now. Man, it, why couldn't it just last a little bit longer until I actually got them? Come on. Adjust to it. Adjust to it. Adjust to it. Let's go over here and get this one. Boy, I'll tell, I'm sorry. There's a lot of things that definitely irritated me in this battle. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Twice I tried to capture somebody. Okay, I'm going to just stop the guns, you know, because we don't want to damage them any more than what they are. Because if they sink, I'm not going to be able to capture them. It looks like he's already taken in water. Now why can't we... Why can't we throw ropes? I mean look. Why can't we just throw ropes? I mean, do we have to just sit here and musket him to death? Which, I mean, that would work, I guess. It's just going to take a little bit longer. I do not want to use canister right now because I can see that this ship is taking on water. And, and I do not, this is worth $40,000. Okay, there. Okay, uh... Pause for just a moment. <laughs> oh no, now they're going to try to show us the red zone. Oh, I, this is the part of the game that I don't like again either. Is they're going to show... <laughs> Yeah, thank you so much. And if I say next, it stops me right here. Now, I, I got to click over here and get back to where I was. 
but you can see how that throws you off, right? Now there's Randy. All right, now. All right, do I have any ships nearby? The Leopard. Let's send the Leopard over here. Can you believe how the wind keeps changing? I mean, seriously. Yikes. All right, let's go a little fast so we can at least get this worked out. Man, I, I, I'm just going to tell you, I, I just cannot believe how some of this battle went. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, you're going to have to tell me what you think about this. But, all right, now we got to get going here. Full sail. Now that we got this one past him. So this is worth 40 grand right here. And I need this 40 grand and that'll give me 80,000 for this battle. This battle's only going to give me like what? 10,000 or something? When I pick the extra foes, it's only going to give me about... I don't know if it was like 11,000. I'm losing... What did I say? Like at the beginning of this? Like 23 or 24,000 I'm losing per turn. And so, you know, I played this earlier the other day, and I only got one of these. And that's 40. And I, I made it work because I had, I got, got three 144 gunships. Well, here, now, so today I decide to redo it and record it, too, as being the one that I'll, I'll have in my campaign. But, uh, and, and then they don't have the three 140. 140, uh, you know, 144 gun ships. So, I mean, so what can I say about that? Okay, hey, good. We got this one here. So, get over here. Let's do a uh, canister. We got to stop him. All right, we're going to try to gain some speed over here. We're going to repair also. And, and we're actually shooting uh, canister too. Why ain't we shoot? Oh, I didn't have the guns on. Okay, let me put the guns back on. I was wondering why he wasn't shooting. But now he's shooting. And look at that. We just killed quite a bit. All right. And like I said, though, you know, you can, you could have got just one of these or two of these, or you could have just done a fleet retreat in order to win this battle. So this battle, even though when it had the one hundred, the three one hundred and forty, forty volt gun ships, which is one better than what I had, because I do have two one hundred and forty four gun ships, and then again put three against me, and I was able to capture all three. But at the expense of those two getting away and, you know, me only being able to get one of them. Now, I don't know why you didn't. Man, I should have had him over here. Who else? Do I have anybody else nearby? <laughs> no, I don't. All right. I think instead of doing that, I'm going to have to come over here then. And then I'm going to have to turn him this way so he can at least shoot at the ship. Yeah, maybe I can get him over here to block. Come on. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to muster some speed here. Because I cannot let forty thousand get away from me. <laughs> like like this is forty thousand if I get that ship. Forty grand. So even though this mission doesn't pay a lot of money, at least if you get these two ships, you know, I'm going to end up with 80 grand and that's going to that's going to help me go a long way considering I lose like whatever it is like 24,000 a turn. All right, Fenwick, Garlic, Shala. I mean, he's closer. I'm wondering if I could get him to try to board. And I can always drop somebody off here to get on the ship, you know? He's closer than this one, so... Yeah, I think... I think it might be better... Oh, he gave up anyways. He gave up anyways. Alright, so that was good having this ship before it went out of the battle to try to come over and block him or at least so that that actually worked out. Now, I just got to get this guy to get on here. I don't know how many he had, but if you look right here, you'll see it. So just pay attention to right here. Yeah, they had a they had a hundred, I guess, or whatever. I, I that went so fast, I missed it too. Okay, so I can tell you, the last time I played this, which was the other day, I can tell you that. I think I captured all the ships except one of the transports got away so I only got 40,000 and I had one infantry unit that got killed right as soon as he came off the merchant ship which was 150 guys so I decided to play it just now as you know and I mentioned everything and you know, I was questioning by stopping everything at the very beginning of the battle to transfer those fuselers onto my four ships. You know, I didn't know if that would be the right strategy. And, you know, and, and, and then they didn't give me the three 144-gun ships. They only put one in. So, anyways, and I can tell you that I lost uh, 2,200 um before and so now i've i only lost 1500 so i saved myself 500 uh guys basically or 600 or so so by doing that and i i got all the i got all the um objectives even though you need you, you need only needed to do one of them and so if you look at the individual units here, you can see that I captured all their ships. Um, so it looks like, um, you can see my 126 gun ship, I think it's an ocean class. You can see that they put two ocean class ships in and one, one 144 gun ship. They had the two 
merchant ships, and then they had a, a 30 gun ship and a, and a 48 gun ship. So you can see that uh, this time at least I got them all and I spared myself 500 guys that are not killed so that's all good. Um, what isn't good is you know oh but I, I lost a midshipman so you know I mean I don't care about midshipmen. Even if he had a lot of experience, I don't really care. Um, and, and then this guy made lieutenant, this guy made captain. So that's all good. Ah, so wait a minute. Maybe it's not. It's it's only 65,000. Okay, so why did one show me 40,000 and then this one only... And now this shows me 65,000, so it's more like... Why? Do, oh, do you think because I shot up the ship? Do you think because I shot the ships up, like I damaged them? Do you think that is why I'm not getting 80,000? I mean, hey, 65,000 is better than 40,000. I will tell you that. So, you know what I mean? Like, but yeah, um, okay, so then I would say do not uh, damage the ships maybe yeah I'm really confused as to why okay so check this out folks okay uh, I, you know I, I like to talk about things in the game and if you don't mind you know you're gonna hear my discussion about it but and you can always just skip it or go f whatever you want to do on a video but I mean why the other day, I played this battle, I made the video, I was going to upload it, but then I thought about, I didn't like the idea that I lost 150 guys, which were only rookie guys anyways, uh, infantry unit, you know, and that I lost over 2,000, I think it was like 2,200, uh, you know, I lost that many men, um, and I only got one of the transports. The other one got away, and I and so I only got forty thousand. So why today I do this over, as you see, and I explained everything. Why did I only get three? Uh, why did I? Why did I not get the three one hundred and forty-four gunships? That's the first question. The second question is why because. You know, I damaged these two transports, and you only give me 65,000 when before I only captured one, I got 40,000, and I didn't damage it. I was able to come up to it and, and capture it, but the other one made it into the border. So why would that one give me 40,000? But me getting both of them, I only get 65,000 instead of 80,000, which I was bragging to you. If I could get both of them, I'd get 80,000. So, you know, those are the two questions I have for you. I think um, I'll look at this one more time. Just in case, you know, you can, you can see something that I don't see. But yeah, I got these one ship, I get 40,000 two days ago when I played this and, and I'm playing it today redoing it and I only get 65,000 and the only thing I can think of is I damaged the ships quite a bit because I wanted to slow them down because I was afraid they would get away but with the wind changing uh, three times, um, you know, we, we they might not have got away. So, you know, you have to you have to put that into account too of when the wind changes. The wind changed quite a bit in this one. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video, and this will probably be the one that I upload. So, because it's just a better result, and I got an extra twenty five thousand. But I don't know why I didn't get the 80,000. So now you can see that I have 110,000. So I'm in a much better place because I got all this money now. And, and, and right now you can see that I'm losing 30,000 a turn. 
So either way, one dollar to repair, one dollar to repair, 64 bucks to repair, not bad. And I didn't have to repair Randy. And, and these rookies, these rookies survived the battle. <laughs> I didn't even count on that. These rookies, because I had these guys at 150 when I originally did this battle two days ago. And the moment these guys jumped out, 150 guys and one unit got destroyed. And I was only able to use three of these to get to the ships. Well, this time I did it. I got all four onto the ships. And you can see they got a little experience. So that's all good, I think, right? So let me go ahead and give them uh, morale. Okay, so uh, I just want to, I just want to, I just want to make a discussion right now because I just want to show the reasons why I uh, take morale instead of stanima. Like, I take morale because I, I like the morale. Because I played, I've got like 3,000 hours playing Ultimate General Civil War over the past like 8 years or 10 years or whatever. How, when, whenever that game first came out and until now, I guess. So whatever the date was, you know, and how many years that was. On Steam, I have over, like, I have just right around 3,000. That's a lot of hours of playing that game. It's it's kind of like, a, you know, it's kind of like eating spaghetti. You know, when you, like, I don't know if, if it's spaghetti for you or macaroni and cheese or pizza. Whatever is your comfort food, well, that game was an old classic that I always went back and played. Whenever I didn't want to play something else, I'd go play that. But the thing that I hated about that game was, and any of you who play Ultimate General, you might agree with me or you might disagree with me. But in that game, I always pick Stanima over Morale, but I don't do it in this game. And I'm going to tell you why. Because in this game, as opposed to Ultimate General, Ultimate General, if you play that game, you'll know when I say this, that game, you're on timers. And timers and phases that happen so fast, you're in a rush to do everything in that game. Like you're in a rush. You are actually against the clock. And it's a rush. And you need stamina so you can run the guys once in a while to get them, because they need to get somewhere to get near an objective. And they need to get there fast. Otherwise, you're going to run out of time. And stuff like that. Now, that's my opinion. Now, you might have a different opinion on that. But I got 3,000 hours in that game. And I'm telling you that every time I had that perk, Stanima, I always picked it. Because I there were there's plenty of times in that where I had to rush my men... And they needed that Stanima to get to a spot. I'd rather rush somebody to a spot so that they're there. Then they can stop. They can rest. They can get back their condition. But at least they're in the spot that I want them to be in. And so in that game, I have to do that. But in this game, we have all the time in the world in this game. So I don't need Stanima. I need morale. Because I... I give these guys morale, and this guy I can give a second perk. So we're go these guys had no perks. These were rookies. So he, he did enough in a battle to get two perks. So again, I'm going to give him morale because I want him to be able to stay in a fight. I don't want him to, to run away and get shot in the back and stuff like that. So over here, I give him... Morale, melee, and stamina. He gets 10 plus on each of those categories. Over here, he would get plus 10 in firearms, but he'd be minus 10% in accuracy and minus 10% in reload duration. So 
the minus 10 in reload is okay, the plus 10 in firearms is okay, but the minus 10 in accuracy sucks, okay? So again, I'd rather have three things instead of two things. And, and, and so I always take this, which gives me morale, melee, and stamina because when I get these guys in melee, I want them to perform. I do not want them to give up and run away and stuff like that. And that is my reason and why I choose those. Now, other players are going to do other things, but, the re but I'm just giving you the reason why I don't take the stanima. It's because we're going to run around and get stanima anyway. So, you know, we're going to earn everything in the battle anyways, but... That's 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 all that I'm gonna say on that issue is I always take that and and I'm gonna take this because I get three instead of two. And over here again I'm gonna go ahead and give him stanima. I mean not stanima, morale, excuse me. That's <laughs> so funny. But okay, so like I said, the, the conclusion of everything is simply this. If you feel stamina is more important than morale, then choose it. That's good for you. But for me, i rather have morale. And that's all the only point that I wanted to make. And, and that's what I did. So that is that. That doesn't mean that it's right. It doesn't mean that it's the best. It just means that that's what I do and the reason. But, but I'm going to tell you, it's not like I don't like stamina. In Ultimate General Civil War... I always chose stamina over morale, okay? Always. Because I always had to run somebody to a spot because that game, you're on timers, and timers suck. In this game, whenever there's a timer, it'll give you the option to finish the mission as opposed to just end the mission. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Go play Ultimate General and then you'll know what I'm talking about, okay? You'll know that timers in that game ends the battle, okay? But in this game, it doesn't. We can play as long as there's enemy. And that's what I like about this game. That's, what I, that's the first thing that I liked about this game was they give us all the time we need to do whatever it is that we want to do in this game. And that's the reason why I like this game so much better than Ultimate General. Because even though, you know, it's gonna take me, you know, several years to get to the hours of that I put into Ultimate General. It's gonna take a lot of years of playing this. But um anyways. So so do you think I I I, I told enough about whatever I'm saying of why I like morale instead of stamina? I mean I hope I made that point. You can agree with me or not. Leave it. Leave notes in the comments of, of do you agree with me or do you disagree with me. Uh, as long as you do it in a nice way, you know, you can disagree with me. It's a-okay. -okay. All right, so now we're here. Now we got 62 rep. So what I'm going to do is I know I want this uh, ship, the 144. So it's going to take 50 and I'm going to repair it for 50, so that's not bad. And I already know that, you know, we, we sold off the Vieira ship. So I already know that I, 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 I mentioned that I would put... I would put Vieira back on. And now... um. So now I know what I'm going to do here is I know I, I want to take the 32 gun the 32 guns off But I don't yeah or maybe Maybe I could take the 24s off I gotta take something off. I don't know what I can. I gotta look at what I have.
I mean, you can see all the guns here. And we can't do any of these. Now, I do have 30 of these. All right, well, suppose I, I... Let's go up here for a minute. Suppose we put... Now, technically, I could buy... Yeah, you know what? Instead of these nines, I, I, I think I want... I got 28 of these, so I can buy some. I think, because I've always liked this gun, so I'm going to put that gun there. It's going to cost me two rep, but that's okay. So that will lighten the load. That's the first thing that I can do, and, 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 and I do like that gun. It can go 1,300 yards. And I'd like to put the 24s over here and take the 32s off, but I don't know what I can put in that place there. Because we have 30, I'm trying to do it where I'm not going to buy any guns. You know what I mean? Like, is there a way of doing it without, without buying any of the junkier guns? Because I always looked at the Armstrongs as junky guns, but I am using them because I, I don't have a lot of money in this campaign. And I'm not going to be buying specific guns for my ships. Matter of fact, I'm going to want this on the ship. So you can see right here... This is going to cost me 23,000. Now, of course, now, of course, what I could do is I could go over here because I did get one of these and I could put this here uh, for ship upgrades and save myself 5% right there. So now if I put that there, it's still going to cost me 22,000. But I do want that on the ship. So now I no longer have 100,000 here. But, oh well. But how do I get these, these off without spending a lot of money is the question. Like either way I'm probably going to have to buy something. Like can I take the, can I take the 12s off? Because we got 24 12s, right? We got 49s. So if I put the 9 there, that didn't cost me anything. And so the question would be... Okay, so now it gives me 60 because I took the 12s from here. So suppose I put, now, so now I have 60 of these, which I only need 34. So now if I put, if I put these there, that doesn't cost me anything. And that should mean now I must have enough 24s to go right here. So I can put the 24s here instead of the 32s and that'll lower the weight and it doesn't cost me anything. So see, so do you see, other than me buying these, I did it in a way that I already have these guns to replace these and now I have some weight that I can play around with because now I got this ship upgrade on here. And now we're going to need some officers for this. Yeah, I'm just going to put those in there for now.
I'm not too particular with it. So now that we have this money, I think I'm going to look at each of these ships. Yeah, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm thinking of a few things here, like, these guys have three stars, right? I can, I could scratch these three units. Because I, I, I don't have multiple transports, and I'm not going to use multiple transports. So in other words, these, these two ships we're gonna get rid of those and I actually I actually could have kept one of those and turn Randy into a ship that would have some... Uh, no, Randy does have guns. So yeah, so no, I don't have to do that. All right, so now... I guess what I'm going to... Here's what I'm thinking of doing, right? I don't care about the infantry as much as I care about my sailors and stuff. So because these guys... Alright, this one has a little bit better. Alright, so now these four units, I think I'm going to scratch them. And, and I'm going to keep these as the units that I will go into like another battle with. So we have a, a, a supply wagon. Oh yeah, and I'd probably... I'd probably make the mortar, and I, I didn't make the mortar yet, so therefore, I'm going to go ahead and scratch that unit too. Whoops. Okay, well, we only put four here, so hold on. Okay, so because I'm going to, I'll make a mortar, and then I will have a supply wagon, and then these two. Because these guys are going to gain, they could probably gain two perks in the battle. So that's why I just want, I just want better guys right here, right now. And so with this ship... I'm going to go ahead and go down to uh, optimal. And this ship's going down to optimal. And now this ship is going to gain uh, these guys.
And I'll just take the two perks. I don't care. That's the speed. And so, basically, you know, and then now I can just go to here and we'll have the 900. So she'll earn another perk in the battle or whatever. She may once, you know, an upcoming battle. Oh, and we, we've got to put an officer right there. Okay, so again, that was that we only got 11,000, so that's why capturing the two transports are very important to do. And we already spent this right there, so we could buy that ship upgrade. So I think I think overall, compared to what I did before, I think that the other way was I had three of those ships, so I was able to add. So either way of of doing it, I still ended up with adding a 144-gun ship to my fleet. So that so that'll give me three of them. And then I have this ocean ship. Now the question would be, should I should I get rid of the 90-gun ship? And, and take uh, and and take this ocean like I know I don't want those and I don't I don't want the leopard and we can get rid of like this ship is not as damaged as this one so we can we can get rid of this one You can see here, this takes six ships. So I have one, two, three, four, five, uh, if I add this, and six. So if I get rid of this ship, Yeah, why don't I why don't I do that? Why don't I I mean just to keep these ain't the greatest stats, but look what it's going to cost. Well, suppose I just pay for 800. I mean, I don't consider these great stats. But I'm paying twenty six thousand for that. You know what I mean. But but let's just take a look and see if I did that right. And then I drop these guys off. Oh no, that's on Vishala. Hold on. 
Yeah, yeah, Vashal is who I want to do, yeah. And I take these guys off. Take these guns off. And this is why I only put first tier on here, because I knew I wouldn't keep this ship anyways. So I'll get back 8,000. And then I could put her officers on here. And I could put her optimal crew on here. And so then that means I can uh, rename this ship All right, and then I can sell it And I'm going to get 46000 for selling a second-rate uh, ship. So that gets me back to 100000 And that gives me, I'm back down to six ships, but I have higher class ships now. But it's still going to be expensive, I mean, to have these type of ships. But, you know, this is the way this, this, this campaign is going. So, so that is that. So now what I wanted to do was let's, let's say I... Do I want to give up some, some of this? Because it's, 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 it's very costly to have this. You know what I mean? So can I give some back of right before I lose the perk? And then just go to optimal and buy whatever else is going to be, right? Now this ship's already optimal. This ship's already optimal. And this ship is already optimal. And we can go ahead and give them what I like. I like speed. And I like um, sea wolves. And we we need to at least get on here a, a tier two structure repair, but it's overweight. So oh yeah, so now I gotta I gotta manipulate these guns now. Cause look look at just by having an optimal crew of eight hundred, right? Look how this ship is is overweight. I just put all I did is put this on here with an optimal crew. It's not like I'm trying to max the crew. And look at this, right? So now I gotta play this game again. And I don't know if I can do it, so let's see. Like I don't wanna spend money on guns, so I'm just using what we have. So we got 56 of these, so why not go down to six? And we do have quite a bit of those. So then here, 
Why don't I go to 12s? And then that means I can go to 24s because I have enough. Now, I don't know why it's going to cost me. Maybe I didn't have enough. Right, let, let me let me take a look at this one more time. Sorry. Okay, I got fifty six six pounders, and we only need twenty six. So that shouldn't cost me anything. Oh, I see, because I put six pounders here too, maybe? Okay, so then what we'll do here is we'll put the 12 pounders. And that doesn't cost me anything. And now we should have enough 24 pounders. Yeah, we got 64. And that ain't going to cost me anything for doing that. And now I should be able to put the second tier on here. Cost 19,000. And we have the crew and we still have, you know, 600 or so pounds to play with. So, so that's good. Now, while I got this money, do you think I should upgrade to a second tier? Seeing I put a second tier on this ship. So should I go ahead and do that? So now all my ships have second tier. Except Randy. So now the only other thing that I need to do to get ready. If I just keep optimal crews on there. So I don't spend a lot. The only the last thing that I need to do is to create my mortar unit. Because if you go over here to, um, you'll see I have, uh, f I have five mortars. So I can go ahead and create, you know, my mortar again. All right, so it looks like it looks like the Vieira ship only has two perks. And so she'd be the cheapest to use to do that. But uh but this one has three perks. So I think what I will do is I'll take Or should I just buy Or should I just buy a hundred? You know what I mean?
All right, so I have five, but there's one in the shop. I could buy it, but then I don't want to spend any reps. So we're just going to go ahead and create this one unit here of 100. That gives me five mortars. And on these perks here, I take the efficiency along with 50% extra ammo. I just think cover 25% and 200 stealth is really good. And I always go for long range instead of short range. And so we got the mortar. Now, some people do say to go into the battle with no money in it. That way you can fill it up at a depot. But I know in this next battle, we're going to want... I, I need this money to, let, to make sure my mortar can shoot constantly. I mean, the mortar can shoot constantly even without ammo, but it's only at one-third the rate. So, I mean, this way... But, but the mortar will suck this up. But then I, I should be able to fill it up later. So anyways, that's what I'm going to do right there. And now it's just a question of getting these guys up a little bit. And I can go back to, to um, Vilshala. I could spend a little money there just so I have a little bit of guys to work with. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and we got these with a bayonet. So why don't we go ahead and give those to him. And I think that will do it. Other than, uh, so this one will just be a little bit over optimal and, um, You can see I'm going to lose 30,000, so I don't think I want to spend any more. So I think that is all that I can do, folks. I'm going to, I'll go ahead and save it and stuff, but I'm just going to end the video right here. Now, I did discuss a lot of things, so if you want to leave any uh, notes or something, you know, stuff like that, that'll be great. So no matter where you are in the world, I hope you're having a great day or a great afternoon. God bless you and your own religion. Take care of yourself. Be kind to others. This is your friend Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos. Adios, amigas.